Hmm, good day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Arkham Horror. We are zooming along. It is now Rita's turn. Uh, there is nothing really going on here. You can get clues at Miss Matonic U. And until the end of this turn, you cannot draw unique items. Okay, well, unique item draw is reduced by one for this whole turn, which is horribly bad. Now, we are playing Gate Burst, as you might notice. Uh, those red things, see how they're red and these are white? That's because these are Gate Bursts. And when you're playing Gate Bursts, the Gate Priority Order changes a little because while you want to close high priority gates and seal them so you get actual reductions in doom tokens and monsters they're going to burst eventually because the high frequency gates are also the ones with the most gate bursts so what you want to do is seal a couple and then you kind of want to wait a bit see we've got this guy here's got nine clues this girl here's got six clues four clues she has one clue but she can get another four here and that can get her to close a gate and we've got a gate being closed over here pretty soon. And what I'm trying to get at is, because of the gate burst, you want to save up and then all go to the outworld at one time and all come back on the one turn and go bam and get it done in a single turn. You don't want to just clo keep closing gates and then have them reopen and just extends the life of the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to close... Uh, the witch house because it's a super high frequency gate and seal it but we're going to leave we're probably going to leave the woods and the unvisited isle open and then save up until we've got enough tokens to do a mass closing and uh, try and win the game that way that's the new plan so for starters this girl gets two bucks and has to roll for the uh, you know, the retainer. And what have we got here? So she's got the alien device and the lightning gun. She's got the enchanted weapon. So she's got... The problem with uh, using these larger decks is that it's really hard to dig out decent items. We are still criminally low on combat items. And I don't think it's worth her sitting there for the moment because of the this card stopping the unique draws. So let's uh, let's go one, two, three, four to the general store. And that'll give her a sanity hit, a stamina hit because of Cthulhu. The sweltering heat. I can relate to that. It's like forty-seven in Australia today and uh, Capital City is about to burn down. So awesome, Cthulhu is actually in Australia at this moment. Okay, let's go. Let's uh, try and ignore the horrors that is of life. Okay, so she's gonna go one, two into the science building and pick up these two clues. That gives her five, four clues. We need six clues to pass this. Now she went one, two, which means we've got another two left. So I am going to go tap. Oh, before I do that, of course, I'm gonna go voice of Ra, which is four die. And we get no sanity hit. Oh, that's a fail, that's annoying. And now we're gonna do the Tome, which is a Law minus two, which gives us three dice. That's another fail. Gee, we're rolling great. And if you fail, gain one clue. Uh, wait up, what's going on here? I thought this was a different book, the one that you put stamina tokens on. So I've actually already done this. So this book is actually discarded.
There's our other manuscript that I was looking for. Right, so that's a law minus one. So that we should have rolled four dice. Now, normally I do re-rolls when I screw up a re-roll, but uh, one of the guys said, look, if you, if you fail to roll one dice, just roll one dice. So that's what we're going to do. Yoing. That's still a miss. Okay. So she was pretty annoying with all that. And I think we're just going to leave her where she is. This guy here gets another two coins. And then he rolls his die. We're still looking for a cultist for him to kill. Two, he doesn't think. There are no cultists on the thing. He's at least got some kind of weapon. I think he's going to go one, two, three down into here and also try and dig out some items. Michael Glenn, where's he at? See, all the other monsters are on locations at the moment, so I don't want to get sucked into anywhere. He's got four clues, so he's going to go one, two, and that's going to give him five clues. He was, he's now able to crack a, you know, a seal a gate. So I think I'm just going to stick this up one. Oh, his sanity is so low, isn't it, because of this card. I'll have to leave it like that. So other world, second world. Yeah, so he can actually move it down because he can go move to other world. Then he can go second space in other world, move back home. And that'll get him up to six for the fight check to close the gate. Okay. Now I really want her to close some gates. She needs some thing. What's she got over here? She's got the yellow sign. So this is a movement two. She's got movement of five. So let's do movement two. It is a law minus two. Law minus two. That gives her three dice. Daisy's been rolling terribly. So maybe you can do a little bit better. Nice. And if you pass, gain four clue tokens and lose one sanity. So, loss of sanity. Four clue tokens though. One, two, three, four. Nice. She now has five, which is plenty for her to close a gate. Now she is going to go and close a gate. Uh, what can we do? We've got three movement left. One, two, three. What have you got here for spells? Cast an exhaust to choose and investigate an icon who has not moved this turn with the rest to your current space. Yeah, interesting. Heal. Interesting. So unfortunately, the only place she can go is the other dimension, which I guess she can do that. Can she kill this thing? She's got no weapons at all, does she? She can take the force sanity, and then she's got no... We've, got, we've just got no weapons. I mean, it's really, really harsh right now. She's going to go one, two, three into the administration building with the rest of her movement. This girl here is uh, just going to move one across. This guy here is going to go one, two... Three to Velm's Diner. Note to... The road... Uh, I'll go to the Roadhouse. Yorick. Now Yorick... Uh, I really want to pass... Where is Yorick anyway? Right. He's going to go one, two, and pick up this clue. And I think he's going to stay. And that's it. Okay. 
let's uh, do this. So she is at the general store, but I'm not actually going to do her her uh, draw. I'm going to go one, two, three. We want weapons, please. Ugh. I think I'll just uh, spend the one dollar and get the clue for a dollar. It's pretty lame. She is at the science building. You find a student pounding. Okay, we're not going to do this. This is the one where you find a student pounding on a strange device that he has hooked up to a massive machinery. He states that it's a dimensional beam machine. If you offer to help him, make a law minus two check. If you pass, beam shoot out in all directions, disrupting the gates throughout the board. Roll a die for each open gate one at a time. On a success, the gate is closed. However, you may not take it as a trophy, but instead return it to a pile of gate markers. If you fail, the machinery overheats and explodes. Roll a die and lose that much stamina, blah, blah, blah. We're not going to do this because we want to keep those gates open. He is also going to draw three uh, cards. Telescope, kerosene's good. Okay, the Magnum is plus five to combat checks one-handed, but it takes a dollar to untap. It's pretty harsh. This thing here, kerosene, is a plus four to combat check. That's combat checks. This is combat check. Which is quite interesting. This is something that was introduced in later events. Like some cards, they only work for a single round of combat. This is one of them. So we're going to chuck that up. Can he afford this? $8. He's actually got $8 on the nose. So bam. This guy is at the graveyard. Monster would be nice. Make a luck minus one check. That's two dice. Fail. If you fail, you overlook an open grave in the gathering darkness and fall in. Lose one sanity and one stamina. Ooh, gee, that is harsh. Actually, we've got this thing here. Exhaust instead of spending a clue token. Come on! Yes! Finally. That's the first roll that succeeded the whole turn. Administration building. The Dean introduced you to an anthropology professor who gives you some insight into your investigation. Gain a clue. Nice. Hibbs Roadhouse. Pass a luck minus one check or a pickpocket cleans you out. Lose all your money. We only have one dollar, so this is not a big deal. Oh, how annoying. And historical society. One of the society members is heading over to the library to do some research and offers you a ride. If you accept, move to the library, draw two cards, encountering one card of your choice and discarding the other. Let's do that. So I will take that ride over to the library. Get two more cards. You doze off, enter the dreamlands, have an encounter there, then immediately return or Glancing over the shoulder of a dark-haired man to see the book he's reading, you're startled to see it's written in an ancient language that only a few people, including yourself, can read. Pass a law minus two check to absorb the information before he notices you. If you pass, draw one spell. If you fail, he notices you too soon, shuts the book, and takes it with him out of the library. Okay, so law minus two is zero for us. And... Go off to Dreamlands. Yeah, let's go off to Dreamlands. Come on. Let's see what's happening in the world, man. Where is Dreamlands? That's up here. The Dreamlands. 
Pass a luck minus one check to chance across one of the little red sign. To chance across one of the little red singing birds of Cephalus. Celiphaeus. 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 Whatever. That guy. Its song brings solace and strength to your heart. Restore your sanity and stamina to their maximum values. Boom. We are only. We've only lost one. That is an awesome card. Boom. Glad we did that. So that is back to the library. Yunk. That was a nice little doze he had at, in the library. Okay, and we actually have one person in the other world. That is Angie, your blamo. She is in another dimension. So that's other. A hideous monster appears. Beautiful. Boink. Cultist. Okay, we should be able to beat this person pretty easily. Looks like I forgot to do her focus again. Keep forgetting to do a focus. Well, I'll see if we can get rid of it. There's no sanity check, and it's a plus one modifier. What's going on over here? Fire vampires are the worshippers of Cthulhu, not normal cultists. So that doesn't actually change normal cultists. Right. So we have Wither, which is a law minus zero. So that's four dice. Okay, that's a pass. We get two successes. And because of spell Mystic Knights, that means we can both gain a uh, sanity back. But we're at max sanity. We're now plus four because she gets an extra point for the hand. Because of the blood is power thing. I mean, for the memories of conquest. So that is a total of a fight of one plus one, two, three, four plus one. From the modifier, yabamo, and we need one hit. Just make it. Okay. What you got for us? Yablam! Okay, so this forgery card is also lost. Infestation of rats uh, appears at the unnameable. We have a Elder sign of the unnameable, so nothing happens. Moon and pluses. We have no moons or pluses. Oh, there's one moon, but he's stationary. Okay. Each investigator in Mars Boarding House or Velm's Diner at the end of the Missos phase, as well as each investigator at blah, 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 in the other expansion boards, lose one sanity. A clue appears at the Cold Spring Glens or Woods. Okay, so the, no clue appears because there's a gate there. Uh, this guy is in Hibbs Roadhouse, not Velm's Diner, so that's fine. So Velm's Diner or Mars Boarding House. It's another environment urban. We haven't had a single weather environment yet, which really annoys me. Okay, well that was a pretty easy mythos phase. And that's that. I will see you guys next time.